And we got some big races coming up. Of course, this one of the biggest. Doug Wolfgang, congratulations. Thank you. When you're hot, you're hot. This is, you've won your last 10, correct? I think so. That, have you ever done that? I mean, I can't remember of anyone winning 10 in a row. It was a schedule that you put yourself through. I mean, with the, ra the various race tracks, the various races are, you know, uh, it's, it's phenomenal, really. Well, uh, I won 10 in a row one time in 1977, but to be quite truthful with you, back then I had a real good race car, and it was probably a little bit ahead of its time at that point, and there wasn't that many guys where we run back there that had equipment like I did, and it was, wasn't nothing as compared to now. Uh, I outclassed them as far as equipment-wise. I think this We've won 10 this year, mo uh, mostly due to the fact uh, the mechanics are working with me and Bob Weiger too, uh, giving me, they've given me the uh, best opportunity to do the best job I can and uh, for whatever the reasons, and God willing it won't quit, uh, we've been lucky 10 times in a row. That's just where it's at. Did you ever think that you would have, be this successful when you took the Wiker drive over? Uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't really want to come out here because I, I, I didn't live here and I knew uh, it's 24 hours one way from my home and I knew once I got out here that there wasn't going to be no going back and forth because it's too far. You know, it takes you two days in the middle of the week to go back and forth. So the day you're at home, you got enough time to get your laundry done. That's about it. So uh, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to come out. I wasn't really that... It, uh, uh, convinced in my own mind that at the time they had a top flight situation, which they didn't. Uh, their, their cars were crashed and their motors were all blowed up. When I came in, uh, we, we did what we could do with what they had, and he promised me when I came in if I could put up with him, he'd put up with me. And, <laughs> and uh, I never got mad at him, and he never got mad at me, and through hard work and all the boys working hard, uh, we've accumulated some cars and parts that are second to none, so my hats are off to those guys. They're the guys that do it. I just drive. I'm going to make a statement, Doug Wolfgang. Uncle Sam and the Internal Revenue Service is going to love you in 85. Well, I'll tell you what. I was smart enough to make this money, and he's going to be smart enough to come and get it. Okay. <laughs> Doug, we have some gifts for you. There's a half from Strasser video. Now, for what it's worth, this race is being recorded, and there's a certificate in here for you to have this race on tape. All you have to do is send it to Strausers, and they will see it. you get it. And when you sit back and the old fire next to the old fireplace out in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, this winter, enjoy it. Although there's some instances here that we couldn't enjoy. A gift for you from Stop 35, a gift from you from Lorenz Cornadelli, and we got a whole bunch of stuff back here. And Doug Wolfgang, I'll tell you what. If the cake don't get you, the Coke will. And if the Coke don't get you, the Paps. Oh, he's got Paps light again tonight. Well, we're all on a diet. We got a bunch of fat people with me, and we like we like light beer. Okay, okay. Fred, get up here, boy. Fred. Doug, well, Doug, you told me, you know, on Labor Day, you know, your your whole crew was getting kind of fat. So I uh, brought the Paps light again down again tonight for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. I appreciate that. Uh, 
Pabst Blue Ribbon is uh, Van May's favorite drink, and I'll, uh, I'll keep half of this case so when he gets out of that hospital, he can drink the rest of it with me. All right. All right. Very good. Okay, we have Don Adams here. Congratulations, Don. We got a, we got a case of Coca-Cola. This is from Mid-Atlantic Coke. Out of Charmin Sound. I mean, we set this down. Okay, we'll set that down uh, right on top of the paps. We have the trophies here. Now we got the young lady here from Go-Getters. Here, you can wipe your brow off with a, with a Go-Getters towel, Doug. Boy, we're gonna have a hell of a workout whenever I get a chance to get up there, ain't we? You are, I'll tell you. That's why, now I'll tell you what. Congratulations. The whole idea with a cake, do you think possibly that might have been the Go-Getters to get you out of shape so they get you in there? I guess it probably is. <laughs> Okay, Don Adams, you have some trophies to present uh, to make a presentation to. I just like to present this to Doug Wolfgang and in appreciation of running here as many times as he did this year, and I certainly am happy and hope that Van May is out of the hospital soon. Thank you. Okay, now do we have Bob Weicker handy? Where is Pappy? Bob, one of these trophies is yours, sir. Well, I didn't drive the car. He did. Well, then, I'll tell you what. That trophy is yours, but if you want to give it to Wolfgang, that's up to you. No, I got a nice little boy back here. I think he'd like to have it. Oh, okay. Bob, I got a question for you. When you formed this race team, did you ever think that it would be this successful? You bet I did. At Williams Grove, the first win I made, I said we'd win 50 features, and I said I'd prove to the people it was the best team that was ever put together, and next year we'll win a lot more. That's a promise. Okay. Bob, Bob Weicker and Doug Wolfgang down here in Victory Lane, ladies and gentlemen. There was a running on the Tuscarora 50. Wolfgang second consecutive Tuscarora 50 here at the Port Royal Speedway as Wolfgang won it last year and won it going away this year.